right, guys, we're back with another video of you new drivers with night transportation. Uh, I want to go over today with uh, apps, very simple apps for us drivers. Now, some of the most important apps that you could have uh, while being a trucker with night transportation is obvious are KT Mobile, Trucker Path, Way My Truck, Truck Smart for TA Petro. Blue Beacon, especially if you join our refrigerated fleet, Loves Connect, and Pilot Flying J. Now, the Truck Smart, Loves Connect, and Pilot Flying J are going to have all your uh, fuel points, showers, all the kind of useful information. And we're going to get into that uh, later on. Weigh my truck. I cannot talk enough about how useful the that app is. It is an absolute time saver. You don't have to really rely on uh, the speaker out front for the uh, CAT scales. All you have to do is put into your information, your truck number, trailer number, and if uh, in certain states, they're going to ask for the trailer and truck license plate in states. So I would highly recommend that you jot those down before you get <clears throat> before you scale out uh, with uh, in certain states like Arizona is a really good example of that they require the license plates number and we'll, we'll get into that at another time when I'm at a, actually at a cat scale but for now we're gonna go to right here truckers path now truckers path is a very good uh, source of information for all sorts of trucker services parking areas now I'm currently in Wyoming and right here you can see that I've got several areas where I could park especially right here at a pilot flying J and a couple of parking areas uh, that at what one of them I'm currently at. Now, if you click on one of these, let's go for the pilot. <clears throat> it gives you the pilot travel center. It gives you the store number, Evanston, Wyoming, I-80, exit 6. And right along... Let me see. Okay. And right along here... Is a bar containing um, uh, the latest parking updates. Now, it's not necessarily um, accurate, but it does give you an idea of what's available and what is not. <clears throat> and it has a prediction, current, and that I'll, I'll probably guess that's with uh, upgraded features with the app, but we'll get to that soon later. Let's see, where else can we go? Oh, shoot. There we go. Now, if I continue to zoom out, we have a way station uh, right here that it'll give you uh, updates on whether it's open or closed, which can be very useful if you're carrying certain heavy weights. So, what else can we go? Now, my current route is taking me through I-80. And along the way, I have several areas. I have this TA at Fort Bridger. And right now, it's con con right now the latest uh, update it's giving me is that there are some spots available. And... And of course, it also gives you areas like rest areas, uh, mon pa truck stops, which is highlighted on something like this, right about there. So we click on it, and it's a gas and go. Now you have to be a bit leery with some of these mon truck, mon pa uh, truck operation uh, truck stops their parking can be quite limited depending on the location <clears throat> do, 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 
do and it goes for it, it actually goes for a lot of truck stops it depends on the location and city wherever you're at uh thankfully a lot of these open uh areas like here in wyoming and nebraska um some of the truck stops can have very good widespread areas some of the rest areas are pretty uh reliable the only state i recommend that you do not do any and i mean any of the rest areas is right here in nebraska why i say that because their lim their parking is so limited that they fill up so quick that you <laughs> you won't have time to to stop there so i would avoid those at all costs unless you can get lucky and get a spot which it's not they're not really parking spots that much you park off to the side right next to the car parkers <clears throat> anyway so back to it uh let's see what else we do oh there's also way stations, and you're currently lit up, and it shows you what kind of color on the status of it's open or closed. Now you see several, uh, several of them, like these, for example, are in green, which signify that they are open. Whereas right about here, this way station is closed. And like I said, a lot of this is really good, useful information to have when you want to tr uh, try to um, know what way stations are open, how much weight you're carrying, and if you accidentally um, over uh, fuel yourself, depending on what uh, how much weight you have as fuel and the load is, you know where to uh, be a bit leery. So we go back to places and parking availability. Now, we go here to the TA here in Shani, or however you pronounce it. The TA number 187 is lit up green, which signifies that there's a good amount of parking available. Whereas here in Fort Bridger, it is some, which is limited. Trying to find one that has red. Actually, a lot of these have. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here's a really good example the TA in Brooklyn, Iowa, which is completely full, which in red. Now, let's go to another area. Now, for any of our drivers that want to be uh, join our lease uh, operations, uh, you have this useful information which gives you the prices of fuel depending on your load where you want to go like another good example the TA here number 187 is currently at three dollars ten cents whereas if you go further out the TA here in Ogallala something in Nebraska is three dollars continue on three dollar six cents at these two locations but here's the one of the best ones the cubbies in greenwood <clears throat> nebraska is only two dollars and 95 cents and i'm probably guessing with all the lease owner operators that is vital to know to find where the cheapest fuel is anyway now if we just open up more you get more options on what prices there are. And there's a vast majority of different sale prices, but I can almost guarantee you if I go to a place like here in New York, there we go. There's Vermont, New Hampshire, where is it? There we go. Yeah, those prices really do get pretty high. But I can only I can only say that there's got to be at least okay, let's
let's see. Oh, yeah. Like I said, guys, this type of app is always really good to have around for parking availability, prices if you're a lease operator, way stations, uh, whether they're open or closed, parking availability, all the kind of stuff is very useful to have. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to bring you up with even more app uh, information on different area apps. Guys, keep supporting me. I do appreciate it. So continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, the whole nine yards, and I'll catch you guys later.